The much anticipated launching of the first ever all Okwe Musicians album, an Okwe Cultural Dance Group Festival hosted by prominent Okwe chief Anthony Agogo Oumi, the Omamigo of Okwe Kingdom, son of Okwe Culture Custodian, late chief Benson Oumi, the Adani of Okwe Kingdom, has been held in Sable. The album, which included all Okwe traditional musicians and orators attracted dignitaries from all walks of life as they filled the Saple Athletic Club venue of the event to witness a display of the rich Okwe cultural heritage as musicians across Okwe Kingdom collaborated to form the album. Among dignitaries at the event include members representing Saple at the State House of Assembly, Chief Felis Uremesiri and Nira, chairman of the event, Professor Chief Sam Oyowari, representative of His Royal Majesty, the Orojo of Okwe Kingdom, Chief V.A. Natufe, Chief Mimus Okorodudu, Chief Chris Odiete, General Overseer, Promised Kingdom Ministry, aka Overflow Chapel, Right Reverend Bishop Godde Iboy, Chief Mohammed Ajaro, Chief Peter Asaba, Chief William Hawigborige, Honorable Chief Margaret Unukegwo, Chief Water Oyo, Chief Gibat Agogo, Chief Ejerezume Etafia, Chief Benjamin Omuye, Mr. Emmanuel Oumi, Honorable Godwin Atuse, Prince Shooks Igelea, Mr. Emmanuel Otokine, Mr. Kingsley Komori, Chief Lucky Eriekeme, Chief Magre Richmond, Dr. Robinson Edewo, Chief Charles Eyeregba, Prince Ete Omasheye, Eda Morrison Ogodo, Eda Chris Ika, Captain Jonathan Nani, CEO Richard Consinetta Hotel, Honorable Chief Randy Okotie, Dickin Onos Godwin, Visionaire, Dominion Fathers Club, and more. Launching was done as dignitaries supported the project. The guests who spoke to Rero TV voiced their satisfaction over the project and he praised on Chief Oumi for the initiative as it is imperative to promote culture in the society. It's a very wonderful event. It's the first of its kind sponsored by the individual. Uh, putting open musicians together to promote open music. It's a very wonderful program. And uh, I pray that God will assist me to continue to develop on this, uh, on this program, which is said uh, we come up every year along with Adani Festival, which uh, Oroje celebrates every day. So, I encourage all of my people to be into this program, because it is the best program for the revival of your members. Uh, this album is uh, launched is, uh, and is, is, uh, is a work on development. In fact, it's going to unite Ukwe and the culture of Ukwe. And uh, my advice is that it should be a take-up work. And I advise all the sons and daughters in and abroad. It's a carbon copy of his father. He's a who believes on uh, the tradition of the people. To, to, to prove from one level to another. Why for she for me showered praise on her husband? for his support to culture and spoke highly of him. I really, really appreciate his efforts, stepping on his father's shoes, taking up to a new level. Indeed, he is a man of wisdom. He has tried. What the father could not fulfill when he's alive, he brought it to limelight.
come with medicine. Holy, that's Holy, to describe your husband. My husband. Words are too numerous to describe him. He's a man of his words. He's a man of integrity. When you call anything of integrity, he's there. You don't bribe him. In his place of work, he has integrity to keep. In every, if he says it is yes, it is yes. If he says no, it is no. Just believe on him. Whatever he says, he, he does. Finally, host of the event, Chief Anthony Yeomi, visibly excited at the success of the event, told Rero TV on his intention of bringing all Okwe musicians and orators together in an album, saying it is in continuation of his father's legacy to uphold the Okwe culture. This inspiration came through me as a vision of my father. So we are only just trying to manifest it. We don't have it, it's his dream, it's his vision. So I only stand as a motto or as a vessel to ensure this vision he has in terms of promoting the culture and tradition does not die. So I'm only standing to promote that culture and tradition, which is his vision. And I said he will be happy in the person of the Lord to say that dream, he has a son that is carrying that dream. So he'll be resting well and praising God. God, I am happy. I thank you for having a child to have done this vision and dream and actualize it. All right, let's talk about sustainability. You've been able to carry uh, along all this wire and all that. Let's talk about sustainability. What does the future hold for this? For what I said, yeah, I think this will be a continuation. We'll do it annually. We'll do it, part of, we'll do it as part of Omogu Annual Festival. And we'll do it in memory of my late father, Chief Ben Sinye Chime Nujda in so that I will be happy resting where he is. That the annual culture uh, festival for open is done in his memory and honor. We shall leave you with more highlights from the event. In Saple, my name is Akborero Henry Akbos for Rero TV. <laughs>